I would encourage everybody to be on a heightened alert because we don't believe this is all as a result of the initial cyber attack. Now at six, Columbus Mayor Andrew Genther now telling 10 TV he believes there are multiple cyber criminals that are targeting Central Ohio and trying to gather personal information. The admission comes weeks after 10 TV was the first to tell you about a cyber attack targeting the city of Columbus. This week, a cybersecurity expert says the personal data of hundreds of thousands of people is now on the dark web. Thanks for joining us tonight at six. I'm Yolanda Harris and I'm Andrew Kinsey, the expert telling us people's names, addresses, social security numbers, even social media information is now floating around on the dark web. We have live team coverage on this cyber attack. Let's start right away with 10 TV's Lacey Crisp, who drove two hours north to Finley, Ohio today and was the only reporter to speak directly to the mayor one on one. She continues to press him tonight for answers and transparency. The mayor's office told us Ginther was not available for an interview to talk about the cyber attack, but we tracked him down to Finley to ask him if he's being honest about the extent of the data breach. Did you lie about the extent of knowledge you had about the information that had been leaked? No, I shared the best information that I had at the time based on reports and con confirmation from cybersecurity experts. Obviously, you know, what we have learned since then uh, is continuing on our investigation and looking at what's possibly out there, who has access to it. On Tuesday, Columbus Mayor Andrew Ginther said the information taken during the ransomware attack was encrypted. After this cybersecurity expert came to 10 TV showing hundreds of thousands of files of personal private data, Mayor Ginther had to backtrack. Should you have shared more so employees and citizens could take the steps to protect themselves? I think we have shared. You know, I've talked to you several times about this. We sent out a letter uh, from me uh, and the technology director uh, encouraging employees to take action. Anyone who has been to City Hall or the city attorney's office and has had their driver's license swiped as a part of the city's safety protocol could have that driver's license information on the dark web. It took one cybersecurity analyst a couple of days to download stuff on the dark web. You've had a team, teams working on this since July 18th. Why weren't those teams able to find these data breaches? Those are some of the things that we're talking about and trying to figure out if there are additional uh, resources that we need to bring to bear. Experts have found crime victims, including rape victims information, has also been leaked to the dark web from the city attorney's office. Are you going to offer that credit monitoring to the citizens, to the crime victims whose information has also been released? I, I don't think we're prepared to do that at this point. Could all of this have been prevented? Ginther asked the Department of Justice to review the Columbus Division of Police. In February of 2023, the DOJ released a report saying the police departments and the city's IT infrastructure needed to be updated. In the report, the DOJ stated, team agrees there needs to be a mechanism for the full citywide IT system needs priority integration, coordination across city bureaus. Should the city's IT infrastructure had been updated to prevent an issue like this? Well, as you know, and I've shared this with you and your colleagues before, we've invested over $12 million in the last five years, upgrading our systems, increasing cybersecurity, uh, and doing everything we can. City employees are now reporting their health care provided by the city from United Healthcare has now been breached. I asked Mayor Ginther about it, and he said that is something the city is looking into. Of course, we'll keep pressing for answers. In Finley, Lacey Crisp, 10TV News.